FastEddyConstantineProMMA.info here with a special guest. This, this is not your normal interview. This is my first jiu-jitsu instructor and a mentor to me, Half Gracie. Half, thank you for joining me thank today. Thank you, bro, for having me here. How, wow. The two fights we just saw, Nick Diaz, Adam Nicoletti, brown belt. God, Nick, he, he likes to let people think they're going to win, and then he comes back. What do you think? I like his style. I like it. I like it. You know, it's a little bit different. People sometimes get caught on it, and I like his guard. You know, he's like knee bars, and I was hoping he's win, but went the other way around. Yeah, it was, it was amazing. Yes, and his brother Nathan. Nathan came out there again in the gi this time. We just talked about Nick being no gi. That was 20-minute Abu Dhabi style. But Nathan, his his game is very good. Like, he's very sneaky. Kind of remind me of somebody else I know. Yeah, he, do, he does. He is sneaky. I like, I, like, I like his game, you know, his good triangle all around. And what I really like about it, those two fighters, is doesn't matter if it's in the bottom for a long time, but they have the ability to change the game. So that's what's important to me. I, I don't like the dogs, you know, all the top and the dog, even where they, when they go in the bottom, they're nothing. I like them because, you know, they, if they're on top, they keep being on top. If they're in the bottom, down under, they can go all the way up to the back to the top again. That's, that's what jiu-jitsu is all about. You have to be well-rounded. You have to be able to do everything. Now, we saw you coaching, Nick. You know, you're from the sidelines. You're yelling instructions. Again, you've, you've been teaching jiu-jitsu since I was a young kid. You, you really brought jiu-jitsu here to the Bay Area. Is that for you, for Half Gracie, somebody like Nick Diaz, does he embody what a jiu-jitsu student should be? Yes, he, 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 he can be both. He has different styles. You know, uh, I have a style, he has a style, and uh, some other guys has different styles. Each game goes for, for a certain thing. You know, that fits to him. I might, they might want to fit somebody else, but that's, that's Jiu Jitsu. Yes. You know? Absolutely. And again, like you said, Nick, Nick has been with your cousin Caesar forever. He is loyal. We, we know, everybody knows what a that's crayon what, that, is. That's yeah, what that's I'm what I'm looking for. A loyal person, you know, not, not a bunch of traitors. Because unfortunately, nowadays, you know, like they see young people, they see, they have different mentality. I, that's not my mentality. I, you know, I'm, I'm from like a, when you, you could go to a place, the only way you leave over that place is when you're dead. But that, you know, unfortunately, nowadays, it's not, they're not that way. I, I, I couldn't agree more. Like you said, I started with you and your school in 1995. I, I bleed half and Hazel Gracie, so that's, that's, what, that's what you taught me. So thank you for that, first thank of all. You, now, somebody, you, you know, you have some, we know the name, Roy Jones Jr. I remember Extreme Challenge. When you won the title, you put the challenge out there for Roy Jones. A million dollars just to show up and a million dollars every minute if he could last. A fellow countryman of yours, Anderson Silva, has now challenged Roy Jones. What do you think if they ever fight? You know, I don't think Roy Jones will fight. You know, uh, that's not his style. You know, like, like he didn't fight with me neither. You know what I'm saying? But it will be a good fight. You know, uh, if, you, if he stands on, only standing up, straight up hands, I go Roy Jones. If he goes everything like MMA, I go Vanderlei. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And one more, qu one more question before we get out of here. Your, your family, the young generation, Hajer, Holes just won. What do you think about Hajer and Holes? Because they're really going to take jiu-jitsu and Gracie jiu-jitsu to the next generation. And they're big. They're very big guys. That is true. You know, like they, once again, that's the next generation. Becomes bigger, becomes stronger. You know, and uh, only them can tell. You know, hopefully they, they step back, stay by the name and do what they're supposed to do. But if they don't do it, somebody else will come and do it for him. Absolutely. And we see it on your shirt, the Henzo Gracie logo. The, both guys have trained with your brother Henzo. So, again, if they're not with you, it's a, not a bad place to be, huh? That is true. That is true. Well, Hal, thank you so much. Again, whenever I see you, put a big smile on my face. This, is, this, is, this interview is always special for me. So thank you, Hal Gracie. We appreciate it. Thank you, brother.